Well, as my representative, I've just been overwhelmed with uh, how much he's done for the community. Um, his interest in education obviously is one that uh, resonates with me. Well, when we have a concern about education or public safety or what's going on in our community, uh, we know we can contact him in his office and we will get a response. You know, he's that kind of delegate. I think he's a delegate of the people, not of lobbyists. You know, he is absolutely concerned with the people in the community. Um, you can't have people in office who just respond to the people who give them the most money. Well, I think Delegate Sidnor is different than a lot of politicians who um, really don't care about the community. I mean, just from the first time that I met him, um, I could tell that he was a person who delivered on his promises, not someone who just makes promises. Well, I live in the uh, community of, um, in Catonsville. I live in Catonsville, lived here for 25 years. And many of the things that we care about are the same things that Delegate Sidnor cares about. Um, education is the number one priority. Well, I believe that we should reelect Charles Sidnor in our district in 44B because he's proven himself as a leader in Annapolis. Um, when you care about your constituents, it shows, and it shows in very meaningful ways in what changes that you're able to make as a leader in Annapolis, what can you actually do? And he's on the judiciary and he's able to make changes for public safety. And that's what we care about. We need to see this is actually boots on the ground for us when we have someone like Delegate Sidnor in office. He's the person who's really making changes and we need to rely on people who are not just politicians but are caring members of our community.